Hello, and welcome once again to the B-Movie Bunker. You have to pardon my voice. This is either illness, or I was screaming my head off so loudly on my drive back from the Hobbit desolation of Smaug that I have gone mostly hoarse. But I am back from my self-imposed exile to talk movies once again. The Hobbit 2... Dragon Boogaloo. Um, yeah. I, as you'll tell me, this is better than the first one. I'm hard-pressed to believe that. Um, I almost walked out of the theater. I'm going to tell you right now, this review will be spoiler-heavy, most likely. Um, not most likely. It will be spoiler-heavy. I can't think... No, I can't think of a time I was this let down by a film. It would be uh, the last time a director decided to go back and do films that happened before a previous trilogy that he had done. Um, the, the first Hobbit disappointed me, but not horrifically so. There were parts of it that I felt were... were unnecessary changes they made but okay fine but this one took the problems I had with the first Hobbit movie, the Desolation of Smog took those problems and said how can we magnify this the entire they're changing the characters too much the, the dwarves themselves are, are nothing at all like the dwarves in the books. I mean, nothing at all like the dwarves in the books. Even Bilbo has been changed dramatically. The scene with the spiders, uh, with uh, Beorn, and the escape scene from Thranduil, the, the, the wood elf king's halls, the barrels, that I have not seen a more ridiculous chase-slash-fight scene this, I thought I had seen the pinnacle of the worst chase last fight scenes in the one Pirates of the Caribbean movie with the water wheel where they're spinning and, and dancing and fighting. This blows that out of the water as far as the most have water with the barrels. So utterly ridiculous and unnecessary. This movie, when, when they first announced they were doing three, I thought, well, what the hell are they doing? And then they said, well, they're going to use a lot of the other story with the necromancer and that as well. I said, okay, there's a lot of material there. Depending on how they do it, they can make this work. However, that side story is not, first of all, that big of an element in these movies. They are just puffing up the original story. They are adding all this filler. This, now I am certain, should have been, it should have been one film. About three hours, I think, you can pack in everything that's necessary from this movie for for the actual Hobbit movie. A Hobbit film done right would have been one film. If you want to focus on all that other stuff, you know what? You can make more films. You don't need to draw out a single story. You had three 400-plus page books done in three movies. Now you're taking one not even, barely 300 page book and making it three movies. And yeah, there's the added stuff, but that, like I said, that's such a small part of it that they have decided, that's oh, okay. So out of, what, two hours, 40 minutes, maybe 15 minutes of the entire movie is other stuff outside of the actual Hobbit. A good hour plus, hour and a half of that 240 is filler. Where they, they've taken scenes and they said, you know what, how can we make the barrel scene... 25 fucking minutes long. I know, we'll just add... No. You know, everything about this, the, every character, they're, they're taking every character from the book. Why do a story on a book if you're going to so blatantly ignore almost everything in the book? I don't... And the thing is, is this is not just me being a whiny fanboy going, nah, my precious book, my precious hobbit, you're ruining it. The movie itself is awful. Even taken outside of the context of The Hobbit, it is a Michael Bay-esque fantasy film. I did not expect something like this 
out of Peter Jackson. I, I am I am absolutely gobsmacked at how awful this is. Um, I mean everything about the, the, still the stuff with as like destroyer and now this this orc side story. Who has to have oak and shield and then the fucking let's just have smog running around chasing the dwarves everywhere. You. That whole scene with Smog and Bilbo, that's such a great scene in the book, and you ruined it. You absolutely ruined it. I I can't say I'm not going to go see the third one, or I won't see it ever. I don't know if I will pay money to see it. And actually, I didn't pay money to see this one. I had a gift card. And if I hadn't had that gift card, I'd be absolutely furious about having spent my money, money that I worked for, on watching this movie. It is such an utter disappointment as far as the Hobbit film goes, as far as the fantasy film goes, as far as Peter Jackson's name being on it. It's such a disappointment. I just... Uh, I mean, perhaps I should have waited and let cooler heads prevail and, and address this after I had let it digest a bit. But I can't. Because it just infuriated me so much of how they've taken what is a fantastic story, and they've butchered it. That's what gets me. It's not that, that they just decided to change things. It's that you already had a good story, and you decided to rip out lots of the good parts and add in all this useless crap, This these all these endless chase scenes and endless fight scenes. The Hobbit is not an action story. If you wanted an action story, go somewhere else. This is not that type of tale. And I mean... I have my nitpicky parts with the original Lord of the Rings movies he did, yes, but it wasn't butchered in the way that they are butchering The Hobbit. Um, scale of 1 to 10, I mean, this is this is like digging up the professor himself. And just... I don't know. It's like taking a crap on his desiccated corpse. That's how I feel. It's, it's like they are, they are taking the memory of this man who created something so incredible and and I understand there are people who don't like Lord of the Rings and they thought he was too wordy but the whole mythology in the world that Tolkien created based around all of this it is so grand and epic that you don't see that I mean when do you see that outside of the old actual mythologies that were made by their cultures and yes Tolkien borrowed from those but it's such an insult to his memory, I think. If he were alive and saw what I saw, I think it would have killed him. I really think it would have killed him. It's, it, is, it is an utter, utter, utter travesty to a good book. Um, I just, I, I just, I am, I'm beside myself with how awful this film was. Almost every scene... I was cringing at how badly done it was. Uh, the the whole forced love triangle esque thing with Toriel, the 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 elf uh, she elf that they added with Legolas, because of course you got to have Legolas because apparently people won't go back and see a movie. Yeah, there's not the same. Well, I don't know these dwarves. We have to have Legolas and Keely. The, the, the throw a dwarf into the into the mix now. I have no problem with, with adding the character of Toriel. I want, I want to get that out there. I have no problem with them adding that because I can understand from a modern perspective of making a film, The Hobbit has absolutely zero females in the, in the, in the book. I mean, it's, it's, it, is, it is the sausage party to end all sausage parties. But them adding Toriel, fine. I don't, that doesn't bother me. I, I think as a character, she's okay. And, and the addition of her I can see as, as a needed thing because it is a very, very man-heavy book. But then you throw in all this extra crap that's just not necessary. I'm not saying she should have had just, you know, make an appearance, hey, there's a girl, look pretty in the corner, but so much of it, uh, I, I think they could have introduced a female character to in a much better way without it being so hokey and cheesy. And of course, it's got to be a big love thing because women in film can't do anything unless they're doing it for a man. And that part bothered me in, in her character is, is she does all this stuff because of a love of a dwarf she just fucking met and captured and threw in prison because he's got a pretty stone. Really? What the fuck is that? So, you know, 
I don't want to keep going on about this because I could go on a long, long fucking time about this. That's how bad I feel about this movie. I just, I, I won't revisit it. I will not watch this film again. Um, and that's saying a lot. I mean, I have watched some pretty doozies of crap fests multiple times. This one, no, because it hits so close to home. Yes, part of me is that fanboy that is like, what the fuck did you do? But also, I am just disgusted in how the film is. It is an awful film, almost from start to finish. I, there, there's so little redeemable about it, aside from maybe Benedict Cumberbatch as the voice of Smog. Fine, except the Smog scenes are way too long for what they do with them, chasing the dwarves all throughout the fucking catacombs, and how many times can you breathe fire and not singe a fucking dwarf? All this shit that that, that goes on that just is unnecessary for the story. This should have been one film and done. And if you want to do more Tolkien stuff, there's plenty of material out there that was left by the professor, that was cataloged and, and, and expanded upon by his son and his grandson. You've got all the books of Lost Tales. You've got you know, the treason at Isengard. You've got the War of the Ring. There's so much you can visit without having to stretch out one story in it to the point that it is a bloated stinking carcass that's what it is this is this is a bloated whale laying on the beach that is just you know waiting to be popped like the giant pimple on hollywood that everything is becoming or hollywood is a pimple on the world of entertainment and and they taint everything they touch now it seems almost everything they touch is corrupted and hollywood is the fucking one ring. It corrupts and destroys everyone that lays their hands on it. How's that? How's that? Till next time, why don't you all stay safe out there in the wasteland? Because I need to fucking have a beer and a 12 bottles of scotch. Something like that. And then I need to wash the filthy excrement bile from my throat that was rising and is still rising from this film. I can't believe how mad I am. I, I really, I walked out of there more more numb. And the more I think about it, the madder I get about it. And I'm sure there are people who loved it. And fine, if you loved it and you enjoyed it, great. I'm not saying you're an idiot. I'm not saying you're fucking stupid for liking it. If you liked it for whatever reason you liked it, fine. For me, I thought the movie was awful. I thought as a Hobbit adaptation it was awful. And here I'm still going. I'm rambling. And I could keep rambling all night long about how bad this was. So... That's it. Stay safe in the wasteland. That's all I gotta say. I'll probably be doing another pissed off video a year or so from now if I get free admission to another movie because I am not paying to see the third one. I will not pay for it. Not in any way, shape, or form. I will probably watch it just because I like to get pissed, I guess. I guess I'm a, I'm, I'm a masochist. I like the pain that this causes me on some degree. I must. I must love this suffering because I keep going back to the trough that I keep complaining about. And I gorge myself on this shit that they feed me. You know what? I've got to change. Hollywood has to change. We all have to change. We all got to start saying, you know what? Story's important. It's very, very important. More important than the best special effects in CG, which a lot of times in this film, the CG was actually pretty bad. Ugh. Just, I'm done. I'm done for now. I'm done for now.